Turn of the Mac. Um, this is Connor's big return. Uh, I'd actually say it's his final return. Um, this is his last shot. Uh, this is his last shot at the title. Um, it's big. It's the 30th anniversary of the UFC. We've already had John Jones, uh, the greatest of all time, and the second biggest UFC fighter in history uh, come back. But the biggest UFC fighter in history, Conor McGregor, is coming back, and uh, we need to talk about it. Obviously, he's going up against Michael Chandler. Uh, Michael Chandler started in the UFC in January 2021 uh, at the Fight Island event where Connor was versing Dustin Poirier. Obviously, lost the second round to TKO. And uh, Michael Chandler had a great victory there against uh, a really a, a not stable Dan Hooker um, after his Dustin Poirier loss uh, in a Fight of the Year candidate. I don't think his chin was the same. And I think uh, I think it was an easy knockout for Michael Chandler in the first round, and it was freakish. But um, I'd actually say that was more on Dustin Poirier's part putting it, uh, putting the pressure on him than actually uh, Michael Chandler being successful in the fight. Uh, obviously, Michael gets the title shot um, somehow. Uh, him and Charles Oliveira versus each other, and I uh, guess he wins. Uh, Charles Oliveira, obviously. Uh, the man has a name. He wins by TKO in the second round. Uh, really crazy fight, fight of the year candidate. And um, we go on. Uh, Michael Chandler, obviously, another fight of the year candidate. I believe this one fight of the year for most people uh, was his Justin Gaethje win. Uh, sorry, loss. Uh, him and Justin Gaethje, Gaethje had a great fight. Um, but I never felt that he was winning that fight. Um, I thought it was a very... It was never really my fight of the year. I thought Charles Oliveira was a much better fight because it was crazy. Uh, this fight was a lot more just um, crazy in the way where they were just punching each other um, mindlessly um, for 15 minutes. And it was interesting to say the least. Um, obviously, Chan lost. He's on a two-fight losing streak. He goes up against Tony Ferguson, who's on something like four-fight losing streak or two Three fight losing streak by now. He's lost to Justin Gaethje, Oliveira, and Bill Neil Dariush, I believe. And um, he gets KO'd into a nugget um, by Chandler. Uh, this was probably Chandler's greatest victory in the UFC. Um, but he lost the first round. He lost pretty easily to Tony, in my opinion. I think Tony looked great in the first round, um, which was really interesting. Because I watched that Diaz fight and... Um, look like two retired men. Let's just say that. Um, which is interesting. Um, obviously he went on at the end of the year to fight Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier, uh, I thought he was winning the fight. I thought he actually did very well in the Dustin Poirier fight. Uh, he won everything up to the submission. So I think Dustin Poirier got very lucky. Got very, very lucky in that fight. And, um... Well, what I can say is, um, what we can take away from these five fights in the UFC is, he's a he's a crazy fighter. He can do something, and it will always look like he's just swung the biggest punch or the biggest hook. Um, he's never going for anything light, and it's uh, it's very interesting. He's got a finite bonus, I believe, every time he's fought, and uh, it's deserved. Um, now he's doing the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, with obviously Connor. Now, what Connor needed was the Ultimate Fighter, I believe. Uh, he's fully immersed in MMA now. His greatest victory was off the Ultimate Fighter uh, with the Jose Aldo victory, uh, the 13 second KO. The, this is a really good move by Connor to do the Ultimate Fighter. I think it, even though it was the shortest Ultimate Fighter ever, like three weeks or something, um, I think he really got his time to dig into Michael. Um, I think Michael. Um, I think he's mentally, um, I, I think the mental warfare has already started with Michael. Uh, obviously, I've heard rumours that on uh, the Friday before UFC 284, uh, Connor got into a altercation in the ring with Chandler uh, or his, one of his teammates, um, which always uh, brings up uh, the mental game and uh, what Connor's doing to win. Because you can say that people just say the mental game but Connor and it means nothing it means a lot Connor really got on the mind of Jose Aldo he really got on the mind of Chad Mezes 
and uh, it, it, it worked. It, 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 he got on the mind of Khabib. Khabib went off his game and versed him in striking because, um, because Connor was talking that much shit. Most fighters would just stick to their game plan, but Khabib obviously changed his game plan, obviously doing very well, um, but he lost his only round. His only, loss, uh, his only round that he lost was the, um, was the Conor McGregor third round, uh, which is interesting. Um, Conor's uh, leg, obviously. Conor's a really smart fighter. Um, he took his time. That's what you need. Uh, he's like 35 years of age, I believe, or um, a little younger, a little older, but around that age. Um, he's getting to an age where he's coming out of his prime, and uh, it's really good that he's taking his time because uh, you need that. Um, and he looks in better shape now. Uh, he looks a lot bigger, and I think he's gonna fight Chandler at 170, which is smart. I think uh, a weight cut wouldn't be the greatest uh, for him right now, I think, unless he's going down to 145, which I'd say would be the best move for him ever, but I don't know why he doesn't do it. Uh, he's never lost at 145. I think a Volkanovski fight would be straight away. I think, he, I, I think he'd get a title shot at 145 straight away. He's never lost it. Uh, he never lost the bout at 145, so I think, I think that would be an even better fight. And Volkanovski, obviously, my favourite fighter because uh, he's from Australia, but um, <laughs> Connor could knock him out, my God. Connor at 145, it, that was lightning. Um, now, um, will Connor retire if he loses? No. Uh, I don't think he'll retire. I think he'll pick easier fights. I don't think he'll um, go for the title shot again. I don't think he'll get the title shot again uh, after uh, if he loses his channel. I think he'll go for fights uh, like Jorge Masvidal, Diaz, um, I think Jorge will lose his Gilbert Burns fight. I think Jorge will probably retire, like mentally retire after that uh, Gilbert Burns loss, but I think um, we could see a Connor versus Mars Vidal in the works, and that would be a massive bout. Um, obviously, he's gone into his uh, Roadhouse film. He's been doing that recently. Uh, I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, I think it's a film about um, a previous MMA fighter or something, so it's always been on his mind. I think if he just did a Hollywood blockbuster, it really, it may would just go away, but um, it's a good thing that this film has a kind of direction of MMA uh, to keep him just in the world. He needs to be in the world. I'm very happy he's doing the ultimate fight because that really immerses a, a person into the, into the fight game. Um, d does Connor want the Dustin Poirier fight if he wins? I don't think so. Um, I don't think Dustin's coming up to 170 to verse him. And I don't think um, Dustin is. Uh, I don't think Dustin's going to uh, going to fight um, Conor again. I I don't see that fight ever happening because I think Conor's going to skip the line, and I think he's going to get the title shot. And we'll talk about the title shot. There's two. There's two we can get. I'll pitch both. Firstly, we have Khabib 2.0. We have Islam Makhachev. We have Bad Blood already there, and we have a massive pay per view. Um, Khabib versus Connor is the biggest UFC pay per view of all time. What could um, a second, a second time around do? Could probably even do more because Markachev and Connor, I would say, are closer than Khabib and Connor. I think Khabib is <laughs> levels above Markachev. Um, I think we saw that in the Volkanovski fight. I think Volkanovski won that fight. I think Volkanovski won pretty easily as well. I thought it was a joke that he lost. Um, but yeah. Um, I think I think that would be a massive pay per view, but it is at one fifty five, and Connor would have to cut the way. I think the bigger fight is the Leon Edwards versus Conor McGregor. I think it's Ireland versus England. I think it's the mecca of the sport. I think it's an amazing fight. Um, obviously, Diaz caught Leon. I think this is a much closer fight than people think. I think Connor is a great at striking. If it's just a striking bout, I think Connor can really make this fight interesting. Obviously, Kamara Usman isn't the greatest striker. Kobe Covington isn't the greatest striker. Conor McGregor is a striker. And I think in the pressure uh, off, the, off the fight, I don't think Leon Edwards would uh, rise to the occasion. I think this could be a massive um, story arc and could lead to Conor becoming three-time three champ, uh, three weight class champ, which would be insane. But... Um, Obviously, I'd put Leon as the winner, but I think Connor has a massive chance in that fight. And uh, I think that's all. Um, Connor is on his last shot. 
This is really it. He's got to win this fight against Chandler. Chandler's a very hard opponent, but I think if he plays his karate stance, which he used to have, I've seen the footage of him. He's using it now. And uh, I think he can counter. I think he can do a really good job of just taking him out. I think he can, I can, I think he can shut his lights out. Um, we all, all know that Chandler doesn't have the greatest chin. Uh, Charles Oliveira. Um, but he killed him. Um, it was pretty insane. But um, Connor's chin is, is dwindling. But he hasn't been knocked out yet. So um, we'll have to see how this one goes. Um, we're rooting for him. Obviously, no one wants Chandler to win. <laughs> no one likes Chandler. Chandler's a bit of a... He's not a boring fighter, but he's an annoying fighter. He's a very annoying guy. Um, he always speaks... Uh, he speaks like a, a, a like a bunch of crap, and it's just it's just completely annoying. <laughs> and he's too nice. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really excited for this uh, return, and I think this will cap off the year in November. I think we're, I think we're going to get a November bout on the MSJ. And yeah, well, uh, thanks guys for watching visuals, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.